Bow takes off and gets away. Varko, well, Bow's in trouble now. <laughs> Just lost orientation of course, he got disoriented. He ran out of ideas, really. There was no one presenting in the uh, Carlton forward line. He didn't make someone present by uh, kicking the ball into space for their movement. Well, Mooney's the target. He sort of slapped it down, Mooney. He sort of pushed it forward. Wiggins all patched up from Gibbs. And then Scotland's little one out wide. And the Blues are certainly going to lead at half-time. They look the best chance of scoring now, if anyone can. Simpson, can he find a target? Clever Mark Carazzo. Your goal here would be damaging, but Carazzo showed a lot of the ball. Oof. Hampson attacked it hard. So did Selwood. Betts, Robinson, last play of the quarter. Robinson loading up and kicking it behind. And he, he missed the opportunity to get that handball to Gibson, who'd run hard through the middle, but she's counting that. Can't look like Geelong because they're prepared to move the ball quickly and they've got great pressure on the opposition. But uh, the shoes definitely uh, and the advantage definitely with Carlton, they've, uh, they've put all the pressure on the Cats. Half time here, 13 point margin, 7 7 to 5 6. Start of the second half, Friday night football at the MCG. Mumford won it down, stolen by Gibbs. Another possession for him. Walker goes out wide. Stevens went to ground. Croming his own ball as Milburn runs to the wing, kicks it down towards half forward. Reaching over the top was Bauer. Loose ball. Wiggins. Still me. Still me. Trust up from right half back. Well, Milburn gets it on the ground again. Enright comes back towards the middle in a triangulation of fire there. Johnson, but he found it on the bounce. Well done. Over the top. Harley's hand pass ineffective. Rook did well, though, falling to the ground to Gillies. Spears one in low. Barely the 15. Stay Hawkins. There. Stay there. Took the mark and then was bouncing around as if he wanted to give it off. I doubt he'll get the distance from here. A lot of Geelong players just standing still with their arms in the air saying uh, kick it there or kick it here and it's not uh, not what we normally see. We normally see every Geelong forward or everyone in the forward 50 for Geelong creating an option and that quick mo movement. Well, that clock ran for a long time. There goes the kick from Hawkins. Bending back. Ooh. Carlton had a bit of a problem there, but fisted across the line by Cruiser. Tim? Well, I think I heard Tom Harley speaking to the players before they came back out for the second half was that, A, every player had to help Cameron Ling on Chris Judd to crash into him as often and as hard as they possibly can. And also Ablett, Joseph is picking up Ablett to crunch him and crash into him as much as they possibly can too as a team. Let's see if they can carry that out, Tim. So Scotland gets it in very short from Houlihan. And then again to Walker, and now here's Judd, running hard, look away, Hamble effective, Russell's been very good, Murphy through the centre, they've found some space here, Carlton, good kick, and a terrific setup from one end to the other without Geelong really getting a sniff. Yes, they sent a corridor attack, and as soon as Judd was able to carry the ball off the back 50 metre line, then he had plenty of supporting runners, and... When you can carry the ball through the centre square, really, there's a whole big 50 metre arc both sides. They had to go wide to get their set shot for for bowler. Uh, but good use. I mean, difficult kick, though. Long way out. And he's kicked it very well. Not quite going to make it. Just held up as so often the ball has at that end tonight. So... Better start for Fevy. He was good in the first quarter. Just got out of sync a bit in the second. Mackey short to the pocket. Harley's got it. Mackey runs on. He'll get the ball back. That held him up the hand pass, though. Harley again. Well, they did enough. Harley, the long kick beyond the wing. Hawkins launches himself from behind. Thornton played it well. Came down in front. Hampson, Houlihan on the stretch. Murphy. And you just get the feeling the confidence of Carlton's on the rise. Sharing the footy around. Goes down the line. Simpson having a fine season. To Murphy, who cuts back towards the middle now. Sets it up from behind Milburn. Well, it fell in front. 
Geelong making a real hash of that. Judd didn't have the football. Still hasn't got the football. He's on the ground about five metres away. Meantime, there's a tackle on Milburn. Lack of talking by those Geelong defenders. Majinski coming up from the rooms. It appears perhaps his night is over. Mumford, will he get to the contest? No, Hampson. Well, next best thing. Mumford dragged down. Ball jarred out of there. No, Ball just up. picked it up. Just picked it up. No prior. Guess who coming out from the bottom of the pack here, but Wojcinski tackled late in that uh, second quarter, rolled his ankle over the interchange bench, and that's where he uh, looks like he's going to finish the night. So Hampson front spot, looking for Jard. Ling was with him. Just taking possession again, no prior. And Eddie Betts, I'm pretty sure, started an interchange the uh, second half. I think one of their problems, Carlton, is how do they make sure that Harley doesn't get involved too much in and around the Favola contest? Mumford over the back. And then Gibbs didn't have the footy in the end. Scotland did well, arm field to Hurlihan, who had to backtrack, but he did OK. But then cut off, trying to kick the ball through the centre. Burns cutting it off. Sirwood taking a couple on. Hurlihan getting a hand in there. And then Stokes it was, who actually cut it off in the first place. Mackie, oh, great run down. Fev. So the Blues. Simpson looks up, he has to hold it back, and then Murphy took off early, had a little bit of it in right, kept his call, cool, and then on the up to Ling. Kept his feet wonderfully too, along with his curl cool. To the other side from Ling, Milburn to the wing, into end stuff now, Mackey. A great chase by Favola, got him right on the 50. Play on! Mackey told to play on. It's not a bad kick. Hawkins is the target. Well, it didn't get to him. Just coming Back across, on. drifting across in front. Thornton took the mark. Well. Russell gets very close to the man coming at him. Hogan drifting back in right again. Maybe the status of fours a couple of times. Carlton could have bombed the ball or helping. Uh, long and deep, but they just didn't really have the confidence to go to him one-on-one. On one. Had in possessions to Enright. That one went to Hogan. Getting a fist in there, Russell. Soccer's off the ground, Russell. Ricochets off Ling. Johnson clips it across towards Ling. Slips away from Russell. Lines up at goal. It's working back. Oh, wonderful kick. Wonderful kick under pressure. We know Stephen Johnson came into the game with an, under an injury cloud, but uh, Jordan Russell's done a fantastic job on him. Uh, Johnson unable to take that mark, probably should have taken the ball out in front, but this was uh, a great chase here by Brendan Favola. That's the sort of stuff that his teammates and the coaching staff would love to see. That little shovel handball, he got away with that with Cameron Ling. Started his junior career as a forward and uh, knows where the goals are. Just saw the big chase from Fev running Mackey down. And then uh, Johnson's slippery, sly handball. Mm. And Ling finishing it off. So Geelong, true to form, they get the opening goal of the term. They've got the first couple in the first and second quarters. Stand up, let him, no, 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 no. Just let him stand up on his own. Let him stand up on his own. in the week that umpires would be looking for bumping and pushing players a long way from the footy. I haven't seen many. High tackle. High tackle. Oh, go, go, go. Cameron. Wow. Stay there. Why he did that, I'm not oh, sure. Judd. A needle eye opening. Mine, mine. And the kick as it comes down towards half forward. Mine, mine. Giving a contest for Bowler. Crumbing it, Russell. Hand pass or Halpin. For kick. Bowler falling to the ground. It was a clever kick indeed. Simpson's taken the mark. Not the best angle for a left footer. Come back here. Fev's down. He's there. Didn't see what He's happened there. to him. Tommy, Tommy, there, stay with me. Meanwhile, Simpson lines up. Again tonight, so me, active. Stay with His me. 17th possession. And he comes. And he gets it. Just, but good enough, his second. 